Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm going to play this video that I've got right here behind my camera so you can hear it. It's Dabu, uh, one of his channels. Anyway, listen to this. It's about the cargo, uh, what do you call it? Let's see. I want to move my camera without making it shut off. Let's pull it over here. A record $22 billion worth of cargo is now stuck off the coast of California. Dabu 77. Okay. All right. My camera just disappeared. Let me see if I'm still on. Yep, it's still recording. All right, take a listen. This is Dabu 7. There was some hope that the congestion in our ports would clear up sometime soon, especially after the Biden administration had announced this 24-7 operation on the ports but that's just not the case as i talked about the other night it seems like things are getting worse now, how can that be how can that be i think most people know how this could be now that record that was in the 90s is now a new record an all-time high of 103 container ships and probably growing as i speak sitting out in the waters anchored off the coast there of los angeles and long beach waiting to get into those terminals. This is Los Angeles and Long Beach. I saw a video the other day. Not sure if I shared it. I tried to, but I couldn't find the link. Showing all the many, many containers that were taken off the ships and just stacked up in Washington State. Thousands of them. They are withholding Food, there's got to be food, the kind that can be prepared outside the country, put in preservative, preservatives put in it. But mostly like clothing, car parts, farm equipment parts, uh, gifts that all come from China, all kinds of stuff. Why? They're going to come out and say, once this country is fully vaccinated, then we'll release the cargo. Now, is that far-fetched? Or is that just blown smoke? What do you think? Let's keep listening. This is at an all-time high. So this is really crisis mode. And as you look at this image... It is not because of truckers that, quitting know, because they didn't want to get something put in their body that they were against. In this area alone, and this doesn't count for Seattle, you know, any of the other ports along the West Coast. So, at this point, when shelves continue to thin out, and all this stuff continues to look like things are running thin, it's because of this, with this record amount of goods sitting out here. 22 billion worth of cargo just sitting there. What's going on, America? time to make some moves. Oh, well, I can't buy it. Just the order them to do it. Down further and talk about the things we can do since they're ship free. Next Monday and Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern, only on D-Live. Thanks. Okay. So, he talks about stuff on D-Live. I've never been there. Maybe some of y'all have. I have so many, you know, other platforms people want you to go to. I've so many. I've never gone to D-Live, though. But anyway, there's been theories that maybe they're letting all this stuff pile up so that one big nuclear bomb dropped into the middle of it would just take it all out by China, Russia. Do they have a hand in it? That's one theory. Another is China, who came out last spring, this past spring, showing the bomb they developed that comes out of a cargo container and shoots up and lands on our uh, person, a country's land. So how many of those cargo containers might could contain that? That's another theory. What's your opinion? What's your theory? Do you have any facts? Do you know any more that you could share with us in the comments? Please leave them and links below.
I'll check them out. I will leave the links if they prove to be something valuable for us. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. God bless each and every one of you. Let us keep praying that we may be found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass, whether it be war or famine or whatever, okay? And to stand before the Son of Man. That's Luke 21, verse 36. Please read Psalm 91. Believe it, claim it, and know it. Know that you, too, can be covered under the shelter of our Father's wings and kept safe. Verse 10 in that psalm says, No plague will enter into my dwelling. I read that, and I declare it, and I believe it. Do you? I pray you do. Bye for now, brothers and sisters. I'll talk to you later.